Hello fellow YouTubers, this is Yuto Moses here to give you my thoughts on the Oscars from last night ago. And I just want to start off by saying that I thought last this year was much better than last year because at least they nominated a film for Best Picture that wasn't a over a year old un since it was released and just decided to nominate it for Best Picture like they did with The Hood Locker or Crash. And I was alright with The King's Speech winning the Oscar for Best Picture, although I really thought that The Social Network was going to get Best Picture because it is a movie based off the worldwide website known as Facebook. So, anyways, I'm also glad that all the actors got their awards for the performances and frankly I was really worried that Natalie Portman wasn't going to get the Oscar for Best Actress in Black Swan because being that a lot of these actors have been nominated for Best Actor in a Darren Aronofsky film I thought there would be like a really slim chance and from watching the red carpet I've heard that a lot of people are betting on Annette Benning to win the Oscar for her role in The Kids Are All Right. And, and so that just leaves that us on a scale between unpredictable and shocked. About the red carpet by the way, I thought a lot of the dresses they were wearing was great. The one that stuck to my mind was Kate Blanchett's dress, which was like, it looked like a snowflake paper cutout with gold on it, and I thought that was my favorite since that's probably the only one I can remember. And I do like Jennifer Hudson's orange dress, and before I saw her in the ceremony, I almost completely forgot that she was around until... I've watched the red carpet, and the only movie I saw her in was Dream Girls, of where she won her first Oscar for Best Supporting Actress. So I'm glad to see her around again. And as excited as I may be to see Christian Bale being nominated, he had like a long brown beard and long hair, and I didn't thought it, I thought it didn't look good on him at all. Like. I just wish he could have just shaved or something because he reminded me too much of Joaquin Phoenix then. And I wish he ke he can stop talking in an Australian accent because he's a British actor and seeing him put on an Australian accent in most of these interviews or talk show hosts or whatever is just really awkward to me. But what I didn't like is that the TV host for the Oscars on the red carpet asked all the nominees a question like, who are you going to vote for in a certain category? And they all pretty much voted for themselves. And hearing that from them, that's, that's the most retarded thing to ask them. Behind asking a question like, what are you wearing underneath your dress? Maybe that question. Ha Anne Hathaway and James Franco hosting the Oscars, I'm fine with. But when I've seen that Oscar commercial where they were ripping on that Rocky training montage, I just felt embarrassed watching that. And seeing them rip on every other film that was nominated for this year, like The Social Network or Black Swan, that made me want to cry. Maybe at the point when they ripped on Back to the Future and to have Alec Baldwin appear and make a really bad joke like, You just got Inceptioned! I wanted to punch, and punch him for that. Like, I couldn't think of a much... I couldn't think of a crappier joke than that. Like, let me try. That film was Inceptional. That wasn't as bad as the one Alec Baldwin made. And there's also the top three acceptance, acceptance, acceptance 
speeches. I can't even say it right. The top three speeches for the Oscars, and one of them were Cuba Gooding Jr.'s, where when he got the Oscar, he was the happiest guy. Like, he was like, I love you, Tom Cruise! I love you, James L. Brooks! I love everyone in this movie! Like, this guy must have had too much coffee before he came on to the stage. And there was also Roberto Benici, Benici, the guy that made Life is Beautiful. And when he came on to stage, he was walking on the seats where everyone was sitting on, and I thought that was really hilarious what he did, and maybe if I ever became a big time actor, I might just do that as well. But there was one compliment I want to give to Anne Hathaway, and that's to her singing voice. I thought she was really great when she sang a song about Hugh Jackman, about him being a sleazy Australian or something like that. Wasn't really listening, but... It's about him having his fake claws. Now, for the Oscars, I thought there was a lot of competition going on because the social network and the King's Speech won like three Oscars before they announced Best Picture and Inception got like four. And yet, Christopher Nolan still didn't got one for Best Director, where it just went to Tom Hooper, which I'm fine with, but a lot of people aren't because they're like, what the fuck? Who the hell is this guy anyway? And I'm like, come on, give him a break. This is his first time and, you know. And after knowing about him winning the Oscar, now, I, now it makes me want to watch the King's Speech even more. And... I still don't see the point of having a category for best animated film where Pixar's always wins most of the time now. They might as well just have a special award for that company for any movie that they're going to produce. But for the new Cars sequel coming out, I think it's going to go to the other animated film that they're going to make. So that's pretty much all I got to say about that. All except that I'm really glad that Christian Bell won the Oscar along with Melissa Leo and Colin Firth. Hope the careers hope the careers can become a lot better after getting the awards and hopefully I won't see Natalie Portman in any more comedies with Ashton Kutcher. So that's all I got to say. Hope I didn't annoy you too much. Rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll be back later. Until then, this is Utah Moses, signing out.